two simple answers here. First, we would obviously want to try KiwiSat in the environment in which it's going to fly. And secondly, the launch company will not launch a satellite which could possibly contaminate any of the other satellites on a multiple launch with vapours um, that um, could be given off when it goes into a vacuum. So we have one we must, and this was the first uh, iteration back in uh, 2004. And basically it was the biggest uh, container that I could find in uh, within Massey that I could actually get my hands on uh, to use. Not the ideal shape by any means, uh, it's about 8 inches diameter, but at least all the bits and pieces that we were going to make would fit into it and we could take them down to a, um, a, a decent vacuum. It was originally intended that we would use a bath circulator, which would um, give us a liquid that could be pumped through the um, through the chamber to give us a, about minus 20 up to uh, plus 70. But um, unfortunately, the the bath circulator didn't eventuate, and um, I had to rebuild the thing to um, to use a an electric heater only. And this is it. The pipes came out. In went a custom built uh, heater plate uh, right the way through the length of the chamber uh, and it's now effectively used as a bake-out uh, chamber uh, taking the uh, the various items up to 60 degrees and keeping them there for a period of 24 hours. As you can see it's changed somewhat over the years and uh, positioned as it is uh, just inside the uh, the main door to the building um, I've had to put a cage round it to keep uh, first year fingers uh, away from it um, and the, uh, that's restricted me for the, for the video that's going to come up in a few moments time. You'll have to bear with that I'm afraid there's just no alternative. Right this is the pump running and uh, you can see why I was banished to the uh, foyer of the building it is rather noisy. The uh, pump just disappearing in the bottom left there is the roughing pump that uh, removes most of the air down to about uh, 10 to the minus 2 tor and the one right in front of you behind the, the red indicator is the turbo pump which takes it down to minus 5, minus 6. This is the, uh, the gauge set up uh, for controlling the, the roughing pump, the, the rough pumping and the uh, little black box in the middle is the controller for the heater plate. On the left, uh, left hand side a, a, a 10 amp uh, power supply, 24 volts providing the heater plate current and uh, the inevitable laptop doing the recording of the, uh, the temperatures and time. The red box in the centre is the, the um, uh, turbo pump uh, iron gauge uh, which, which measures the very low uh, vacuums and the two metres in the front are recording temperatures.